Hello, and welcome back to the commercial awareness update of the 7th of March. Jeff Bezos has been named the richest man on the planet. The Amazon founder has hit the top of the list of the world's super wealthy by being the first person to top $100 billion, according to the latest annual rankings from Forbes magazine. Meanwhile, Donald Trump has sunk more than 200 places, with his fortune shrinking by more than $400 million to $3.1 billion over the past year. The advertising regulators banned four secondary ticketing websites from giving misleading price information. StubHub, Vegogo, SeatWave, and GetMeIn were not upfront and clear with consumers about additional ticket fees and charges added at the end of the booking process. The Advertising Standards Authority chief executive explained that people are happy with initial price but then stung by hefty fees at booking. Debenhams is considering renting space in its flagship London apartment store to a hot desking firm. The retailer is on the drive to scale back its high street presence. Last year, the chief executive announced a shake-up of the 240-store chain that will close 10 shops, downsize others and agree partnership with outside firms. It has teamed up with Sweat to open free gyms in surplus space. Kerry Cohn, Donald Trump's leading economic advisor, has quit. His exit comes after the US President decision to impose tariffs on steel and aluminium from imports, a move Khan and the Treasury Secretary have bitterly opposed. Khan, who heads the National Economic Council, has reportedly threatened to leave after Trump's remarks after the race riot in Charlottesville, Virginia. The European Commission says multinational companies have used Ireland to funnel royalties and that payments average 23% of the country's annual gross domestic product between 2010 and 2015. Companies use royalty payments between subsidiaries in return for use of patents or other intellectual property. It's a way of shifting profits from high-tax to low-tax jurisdictions.